Hey internet, it's me, Sabrina. I'm here in Kingsmill Park and this fine and sunny January day that is more like spring. <laughs> um, so today I'm gonna to be filming with my Strato 35. It's the first time I'm really gonna be shooting film. I've played around with it before, but of course, Stubber Me doesn't like to read manuals. They just like to go kind of head first, which has not always been the best case. Um, so a little bit of backstory. My sister picked up this camera for me at my aunt's garage sale. I played around with it. I don't think I did very well. I finally looked up a few things and now I think I'm gonna be okay. A little bit about this specific camera. So this is a Strato 35, as I mentioned before. One of the most difficult things about this camera is the fact that because it was rebranded to Toyoka, I think that's how pronounced, 35S, there aren't a lot of manuals on this specific model. Most of them are for the Toyoka, and when you look up this specific brand, this specific model, you get a lot of that this was converted to Toyoka. All the videos that I found on YouTube and stuff were in Japanese. I wasn't completely able to understand everything, so I kind of have an idea of how I'm supposed to use this, but um, I'm pretty much just winging it, you know, using a few apps, tips, tricks here and there. Um, so yeah, let's see how this turns out. <laughs> Okay, so I had a little minor problem. So this here is a film canister that I wrapped up in electrical tape. And that's because there's film in here. Now, you might be asking, why is it wrapped up in electrical tape? Well, my film got stuck in the tape wheel. So I had to open this up. I had to, well, in the dark first. I had to open it up in the dark. I had to feel my way around to properly cut the film out, roll up what I could, and then I had to pull it out of this end here. <sighs> I really hope this film turns out really good. I'm gonna take it in on my way to work tomorrow and let's all just hope for the best. I dropped off my film at a local camera shop in downtown Toronto. Um, the one thing that I recommend is that if you want to get your film developed, take it to a place that specializes in film. Don't take it to like a major drugstore or anything because they often ship their film to factories and because of that you don't get the same quality or the same result that you were hoping for. You can always take it to a website that specializes in that and they'll ship you everything. So it's always best to go with a place that specializes in that. Another thing is that my film got developed and the results weren't what I was hoping for. It turns out that because the film got stuck in the spool, none of the pictures actually made it. I wasn't actually taking pictures. Everything was just in one frame. So I got back a bunch of picture or a bunch of film that was that had no information on it. So there's a couple things I learned. One is to make sure that you go to someone for help if you're ever unsure of what you're doing. I finally have it properly loaded, like the film loaded in the camera, so I'm hoping that this second round will work better. Another thing is, with film, you only have one shot to get the perfect picture, or at least what you consider the perfect picture. So. When you compare that to digital, there's a huge challenge. Like digital, you just take like maybe 20 shots of the same subject and there's bound to be one that you like. Whereas film, it's just that one. 
so you got to be careful with your settings and what you're doing and make sure you're you're properly using the camera as required another thing i learned <laughs> is that i really do enjoy film because of the challenge and how it makes you stop and take everything in and you have to figure out what you want to get out of the picture so another thing i learned is that my strata 35 is not a good beginner camera um, there's no light meter as you saw before there's no real like way of telling what you're taking a picture of it's a lot of guesswork a lot of experimentation that said I did enjoy it because of the experimentation and how much fun I had trying to figure out what I was doing <laughs> if you're not sure of your settings get a light meter app so I use one it's called light meter looks like this and you can use it to try to figure out what settings you want, how you want to take your pictures, um, and it really did help a lot. I'm definitely going to try again. I did take some pictures in the city, which was a lot of fun, but I don't have a lot of time left in the city. I'm actually going on vacation, so the next time I get my film developed, I'm hoping to have some awesome pictures of my time in Jakarta and Bali.